Hello, hello, hello. Here we are between Christmas and New Year and it has been a weird week. Anybody else feel like it's a weird week? Oh, I'm tired and I shouldn't be. Like I have no reason to be tired. I'm just too much food, too much sitting around. <laughs> and I don't know. How's any, how's everyone else? And I have no idea what, what idea what day it is. Like I saw a, a really cool, it's been around for a few years. It's like a little cartoon of a stick figure person wearing a Santa hat saying, you know, the week of Christmas, you know, the week that Christmas is, you know, you're full of full of uh, cheese and then the next few days after that you're really confused. And has anyone seen that one, full of cheese and confused? <laughs> That's how I feel. And for dinner tonight, oh, we had some cheeses left over from Christmas, so I made a like a platter i made a focaccia like a fresh focaccia which always tastes amazing um made focaccia and then we did cheese and you know i did uh baked brie with a uh, garlic and honey topping which was mm, wonderful it was awesome ah oh, i'm just reading through the comments how has everyone been tell me if you feel like me too much food and too much too much of the good life and i know i need to probably move get out of the house and move my body a bit better so chilly and rainy for you Jean. nice to see you hey rose oh you've been through a lot a lot going on with you oh wow oh, i hope you're okay that sounds very very full on four hour operation in the middle of the night that must have been not fun Oh, that's why I haven't seen you. I've been wondering where you were. There you go. But I'm really glad you're here tonight. That's awesome. Hey, Margaret. Nice to see you. Hey, Cherie. It sounds like it could have been a lot worse, Rose. So, you know, I'm glad that, yeah, I'm glad that you were at the hospital and they could do something about it. That's so good. And I know other people must feel, you know, that sometimes – really bad bad things happen but it would have been so much it could have been so much worse and, and it's it's good to remember that I think okay looking to see if I've missed out if I've missed any other important comments I'm sure there are some I've missed and I'm very very sorry if I've missed it if you've missed your comments so um sorry about that I am um, not always good at catching every comment hi Debbie from Montana Nice to see you. <laughs> yes, lots of uses for a walking stick indeed. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Hey, Sil Vega, nice to see you. Hi, Katrina. Now, before we go too far, has everybody got everything they want out of the current mini? Because there's only a few days left. Did you realize that, that we're almost out of time? It's amazing. Only a few more days and that holiday mini with all the Christmas thingies in it um, will be over and those items many of them are retiring and they will simply be unavailable the nice thing though is that there's still a lot of really great bargains and markdowns so if you're looking for a good bargain and you want to go through that catalog the one I'm talking about is this one so this catalog here this one only has a few days to go and you want to go through it and just even if you just go through one last time and make sure you haven't missed out and the reason I tell you this is because almost every single time, almost every time, without fail, someone contacts me a day or maybe two days after a catalogue is finished and says, hey, um, can you still get item X, Y, Z? And my answer is like, I'm so sorry, it's retired. And like, but can't you, can't you get it? Like, no. <laughs> and once it's gone, it's gone. So don't be that person, okay? Don't be the person who um, forgets. And, uh, and then misses out on something they really wanted. Sometimes you can be lucky and pick it up in a, you know, a retired group or a, maybe even on eBay or something like that. But if you want to be sure you're going to get it, you, do, you would do best to order it. And right now with all the specials, it's a really good time to do that. So, okay. Hey, Nairi, nice to see you. Yep, tired as well. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> What's the new saying, Jean? Which one? Um, sorry. By the time I read your comments, sometimes I've forgotten what I said. So, <laughs> yeah, Katrina feels the same way. Too much food, says Joan. Yep. 
Yes. Yes, Cherie. It's just, you know, I find just even getting out and going for a walk, I actually went for my first walk in a while yesterday and I was so glad I did. And I think, why don't I do this every day? It's not even hard. You know, I've just got to get out and move. And I, I find all these other things to do, you know. I hope your knee's doing better too, Cherie. I'm glad to hear that uh, things are progressing. Hey, Chris, nice to see you. Oh, uh, happy new year to you too, and we'll see you on the replay. Awesome. Hey, Shelly, nice to see you. Hey, Kelly. Oh, you got your Boho Blue Mini and you love it. Oh, I've got mine right here. Look at that. Oh, I knew it wasn't too far away. Isn't it beautiful? Has everyone seen these wonderful little things? All right, so two things I need to tell you about. Well, a couple of things I need to tell you about this. First of all, the colour. This is a limited edition piece, okay? If you are a demonstrator, you can get it right now. If you're in Australia, these are available. Now, I, I did hear that some markets didn't have them yet, and I'm sorry if I'm speaking to someone who's in one of those markets, but here in the South Pacific, we have them. Um, and normally they cost $110. You can buy one as a demonstrator, and, of course, you're going to get your demonstrator discount, so either 20 or 25%, depending on where you're at. Um, will come off that so it makes it a really good price um, but you can only get it I believe it's up until the 4th definitely until the end of December I think until the 4th I should check that shouldn't I so uh, I don't want to give you the wrong information that would be very very bad and I would feel pretty awful if I did that so let me just quickly log on does anyone know before I go and look it up uh, so I just need to go into our current promotions area and look up celebration because this is a celebration item um so demonstrators can always get stuff the month before okay uh yes it is the from the first of december to the fourth of january and then after that the only way to get one is to join as a demonstrator so these are a demonstrator only item and that's one of the perks of being a demonstrator is that we do have access to certain things that nobody else does so either by joining you can get one of these um, or if you're a demonstrator now, you can buy one until the 4th of January. Okay. So <sighs> you're so glad you did. Yeah. It's a, it's pretty cute, isn't it? Like I have a white one already, but I literally bought this because I wanted to show all of you and, uh, and at my launches and other people I come into contact with, I want them to see it because it's one thing to see it in the catalog and a totally different thing to see it in real life. So that's why I have it. Um, I, I love it. It's a great little thing. It comes with all the plates and all the bits and pieces, the embossing plates, the clear plates, the platform, all that stuff comes with it, um, and it's ready to go. So there are three things you need to be aware of for the joining special in January. So if you're thinking about joining, there are three things to do or three things you can choose from the first one is you can join for the normal price which is 169 dollars and normally you get 235 dollars worth of product which is always a good deal however until the end of february so from the 5th of january to the end of february you're going to pay 169 dollars and you're going to get 315 dollars worth of products that's really cool okay that's a a huge value deal so um that's the number one way the first way to get um, your special um, your special value it's fantastic <laughs> you love it good 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 I'm so glad Sherry it does the new mini has got some lovely things and I really need to there's a whole bunch of things I still want to get I'm sort of trying to pace myself I've got a few things but I've got more things I want to get so uh, that's the first option to join. The second option to join is to spend, instead of 169 spend $210 and you'll still get that $315 worth of product, but you'll also get a white, the normal white mini um, cut and emboss machine, okay? And then the third option, same deal, $210, you're going to get $315 worth of products of your choice and a boho blue mini. Okay, so those are the three options, either the normal price of a 169 and get a ton of product value, or if you want one of the minis, you can choose either the white or the blue for $210 and you're going to get $315 worth of product as well. So it is just, just an amazing deal. You think, 
Do you think this one, that the plates rolls through easier? I just think they roll through easier maybe when it's brand new. I don't know. But that's a really interesting observation, Megan. Do you know what? I haven't actually run run it through mine yet. I've only I've only got it out of the box and looked at it because it's so pretty. <laughs> so all the cheese saying, <laughs> yes. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, good. So... They have got it in the US now, but and because of that, they've given demonstrators an extension. They can buy it up until mid-January. Is that right, Jean? Awesome. That's good. I hope that they would do something like that. I love it too, Cherie. Um, hey, Megan, have you been well? Hope you had a nice Christmas. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I know I'm missing comments. I'm so sorry. All right. Okie dokie. All right, let me move this out of the way because we can't ooh and ah over it all night, right? And let's have a little play. So I thought tonight, unless there's anything anyone would like to request, okay, which you're very welcome to request, um, I thought that maybe we would just do some new stuff tonight and I'm going to keep it really simple. And part of the reason I'm going to keep it really simple is because, like I said, I'm tired and I don't want to have a late one. And, and um, we've already had an agreement with the family tonight. I'm, I said, I'll be an hour or so, guys. They said, no worries, mum. And then they want me to come back and maybe play a couple of board games. We might do a jigsaw puzzle. So it's a bit of family time after this. So I'm not going to go late tonight. So there'll be quick and easy ones. So I thought I might do some stuff that's new. If anyone has any special requests, now is um, now is the chance to ask. Okay, and if it's something I've got, I'm very very happy to to work with you. Yay, new stuff. That's right. Um, ah, oh, okay, that's good, Megan. That's awesome. So you're converting, you said something from twelve by twelve paper to six by six. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Very intriguing. Yes, I do have the new cat stamp, Donna. Of course I have the new cat stamp. Why Why would I not have that one? I made a card which went up. Oh, give me a second. Up on uh, last week. There's a video of this one. See the little pussycat on the top of the, the top. of. And I, you know, when I made this card, I've got a confession for you guys and you'll just laugh at me and think I'm silly. When I made this, I thought, oh, I'll use some of that like leopard paper wasn't until after I made the card that I realized it's not a leopard it's a giraffe so we have a cat sitting on top of giraffe paper but oh well you know it's still cute but I picked the wrong paper never mind <laughs> I still really like it all right so um, I'm not supposed to show you the insides of these so I'm not going to um, not until next week next week I can that's exciting right so we have the this is you'll notice too this is important the January to April 2023 Okay, this is a shorter catalogue run than we've had in the past. Okay, so it's the last one, remember, was January to June. All right, then we had July to December. From now on, there's a new um, catalogue um, strategy, I guess you would call it. So four months of a mini, and then the, the annual will come out in May. So we won't have two catalogues competing with each other, which I'm so grateful for. The annual will come out in May. The May catalog will run for a whole 12 months. And then at the end of the year, um, I'm not sure. I think it might be September, September, October, November, December. I think that's right. Another four months with the holiday mini. Okay. And you might notice it's quite a thick mini. I don't know if you can see this. When I sent them out, I really learned how thick it was because in the past, my mini catalogs have cost $3.30 to send. And this time they were $5.50 to send, which was quite an increase when you're sending a lot of catalogs. So um, just something to bear in mind, they're heavier this time. There's more in them. <laughs> ah, I would like to come to cook dinner at your place, Megan. That sounds lovely. <laughs> um, but I get what you're saying that you've taken, have you taken me to the kitchen? Are we in the kitchen now? Is that what we're doing? Oh, owls, says Megan. Yeah, we could do something with the owls. And yes, my husband did have a nice birthday. We went um, out to some friends for lunch um, and they, we did... Uh, make your own pizzas at their house and then last night we went and saw avatar at gold class because one of his gifts was a gold class ticket so we went and saw avatar avatar so that was really nice um so yay all right let me switch over to the desk uh here we go there i am and let's see how we go i i will play with owls i think that's rather fun we can do that 
in and I've got them. They're called Adorable Owl. So this is a celebration set. Um, now, who asked, Megan, you asked for that. Is that right? Um, yeah, exactly, Cindy. It's really important to embrace the family time because they're not going the kids aren't going to be here forever, okay? In fact, you know, there's already rumblings. My daughters are making rumblings about wanting to move out. She was talking originally about the end of this year, which would be now, but she's not quite financially ready. So she's going to wait another six months and, and see how she's placed then. So there we go. Spaghetti bolognese. Mm, see, there you go. <laughs> Good. All right. Yes, in mid-January in the States, but Cheryl, um, for us, uh, here in Australia, what's important is you can only get the mini as a demonstrator until the 4th of January. That's it. Okay, so just to bear that in mind. All right, so I've got two celebration items right here. We have, this is called the Dandy Designs paper. I love this paper. And you know why I love it? Look how thick, look how much. There is so much paper in here, it's not funny. All right. So this is a 12 by 12 pack. It is a level two celebration item, which means that you would need to spend $180 to get this for free. But it's 48 sheets, which means it's four times as big as a normal 12 by 12 pack. So for $90, you get um, either stamps or there's um, packs of 12 sheets of paper. But for only double that, you get four times as much paper, which I think is fantastic. Okay, so owls seem to be the popular. I've had... Ah, Megan, I was going to say we've had two people ask for owls, but actually it was Megan both times. So does that count as twice, I guess? Do I have marigold moments? No, I don't. I don't yet. There's a lot I don't have yet. I've only, I've just got, you know, what I need to have. Hey, Joan. Um, but, yeah, but these are super cute. I did do a card. I showed a card with these this morning. Let me see if I can find it. It was right here. Here it is. So this is one I did. I think I did this a couple of weeks ago with just a really cute little owl uh, coloured in with blends markers. And this paper here is actually from the Dainty Flowers, which is also a celebration set. So that's really cool as well. And I've used some of that beautiful glitter, glittery organza ribbon to finish it off, which turned out kind of nice. Um, I'll show you some cards I've already made with this. So there are so many nice colours in here. So I've got, these are all using Dandy Designs paper. So that's, these are sent Dandy Designs, just a couple of really simple, super simple cards. I, I do love a simple card. This morning I did a demonstrator. Um, for those of you who are demonstrators, we have a, a place that is called the Demonstrator Planning Place, and it is a special place just for demonstrators where people go live in there and there's lots and lots of people showing their ideas. And this morning um, I went live in there with another of, of the of my demonstrator friends um melba peters and we cre i created this little card on that live so this is all paper straight out of here all right so you can see we've got the the purples and the peachy colors we've also got the blues and the greens we've got the yellows this is a mango melody i believe or is it crushed curry i need to look but look at all the colors and the nice thing is if you're a demonstrator you want this paper because there are four sheets of each which means lots and lots of papers to work with so if you have a class or something you have look how nice isn't that lovely super super nice i really really like them and kelly's saying to owls yes as well so yeah we'll have to do owls all right so i like this one look at that with the fresh freesia and pale papaya really really nice and then more of the fresh freesia. And it's sort of in groups of colours. You know, this one's got some Calypso coral in there. Aren't these nice? I don't know. Were you on there this morning? I was I was live there from about 11 to 11.30 this morning. It was a half hour live. And, um, and we showed lots and lots of different cool things. You can see I've already chopped some of this up. In fact, that was to make well, that was to make these this card, <laughs> and that's there all the colours, the blues and the coastal cabana. Those colours are what are on that little card there. Aren't they nice? I just love the way these colours look together. So it's just really easy to use paper. I strongly recommend if you are looking for really awesome paper to work with. And there's I can go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. Oh, I like this one. That's really nice. Don't these two look nice together? So yeah. Anyway, you get a bit of a you get the idea. How nice are they, right? So 
those. Um, you will see me doing quite a bit with those over the next little while. I put a card up this morning using that gorgeous, um, and I do mean gorgeous, that dry brushed metallic paper. Did anyone see that? All right, let me see. That's the paper. I did this one a couple of weeks ago, and this is that dry brush metallic paper as well. And then, oh, I did this is a card. I haven't put this one up yet, but that's just another card. I love this paper. And then look at that one. That's the one I posted this morning. So really gorgeous. Look at it. Isn't it stunning? If you can see it. Look how lovely it is. I just think that's absolutely beautiful. So this paper was one of the first things I had to have. I just love it. Okay, so let's let's grab some. I haven't even decided what colours I want to work with yet, but I'm going to put together a couple of, um, yeah, these are really nice. So I've, uh, like I said, I have already done an owl, but as you can see, I haven't even put this owl set together yet. I actually borrowed, before mine arrived, I borrowed the set off somebody else's because mine took forever to come. This little one is wearing a hat, and that's the one I've used here. Then we've got one that looks like, I don't know, he looks um, like he's a teacher or something like that. You could, you know, you could make a little mortarboard hat for him and make him be a graduation kind of an owl. And this one looks like he's flying off somewhere. So which one should we use? Which one do you like? Do you have a, do you have a favourite? Oh, you saw it, Nairi. That's great. Oh, thank you, Joan. That's awesome. Oh, I do know who likes all those moves. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, that's very, very funny, Cherie. You're very punny, very punny today. Um, yes, it is a bit grungy, that paper, isn't it? But shiny at the same time. So I need to decide. The flying off one says Kelly and the teacher owl says Jean. So who was first? Jean was first. So it's the teacher one, which I'm thinking this one. Do you know what I mean when I say teacher one? I know that probably sounds... That probably sounds funny, but anyway, let's take that one out. And let's put this stamp set together. And I'm going to pop my owl face down. Now, for, and I think everyone who's watching tonight has probably seen me do this a whole bunch of times, but I'm still going to keep doing it every now and then because there'll be someone out there watching who maybe hasn't watched before who has never seen me put the stamps together. Okay, and this is the easiest way to do it, I swear. This is super, super easy. So what I do, there's always a join in the back of every stamp. Can you see that join there? And in the case of this little teacher owl, he's got a join that goes straight down there. So I have just lifted the ends off the back of that and dog-eared them over. And then I'm going to reach over here and I am going to lift off the whole stamp, okay, the, sorry, the whole label from the backing. I'm going to grab a block d block is probably a good size and i am going to stick this owl to the whole block with those little dog ear bits sticking up then i'm going to take the dog ear bits and peel the backs off that just makes it easy and then i'm going to make sure he's okay that's the top so i'm going to face him up this way and i'm going to line this up with the back and i'm going to pop it straight there onto the back of that stamp okay and now it's on, okay? It is ready to stamp, ready to go. Or if you weren't ready to stamp straight away, you can just peel it back off and put it back into the pack. But it's ready. It's done. That is the easiest way to put your stamps together. Always use your blockers like you can see through them so you just know where to position it. It's perfect placement and that's all you need to do. Is there anyone here who'd never seen that before? Oh, thanks, Joan. I'm very happy when you think of me. That's very nice. Oh, here's another card. So I've got so many cards to show you. This is one I posted earlier this week as well. This is another celebration set. There's some really cool celebration things. And they there are three, three celebration items that coordinate with sets in the mini. So I'm excited about that because I love it when celebration stuff coordinates with stuff that you are probably going to get anyway from the mini and then you've got extra things that are going to go together. So this paper goes with the stamp set and dies. Um, this one is called Favoured Flowers. Um, the, uh, or the other two, the Dainty Flowers has a matching stamp and die bundle. And what was the other one? 
the other one i should know what it is because i know i have it oh on the farm the on the farm stuff has dies and stamps and then beautiful matching paper okay so that makes it really easy when you know everything's going to match and you can actually use the dies to cut some of the images in the paper so that's awesome hmm okay so now i'm going to make a little decision about which papers i'm going to use because that will change my mind about what colors i'm going to do the owl i'm thinking i'm going to do my owl in smoky slate i want him to be a gray owl so i've got dark smoky slate and light smoky slate and when i color just make sure these are all good yep when i color i always start with my darkest my darkest color first and i'm going to start by just doing a little bit at a time because that way it's still wet when i come back in and try and blend it with my lighter color now i'm actually working with quite light uh small areas so really i could use the thin end as well as i can use the brush end. in fact the brush end can be a little difficult to work with when All right so can you see that so what's happening now i hope you can see it is that the dark is kind of blending into the light so what i did was i started with the dark i did it where i would think there would be a bit of shadow so up in his armpits here um, and then i blended it with the light color so the light one does all the work that's how i like to do it i'm gonna i'm actually going to use the small end i just think that might be better and i'm going to use a little bit of this dark color here at the top but the rest of him, I'm thinking, I will do in a lighter colour. So I'm going to, while it's still wet, you want to blend that together. So you will get better results with your blends if you don't do areas that are too big at a time. So I'm just going to colour him in. Now, there's nothing that says you have to have a grey owl. You can get as creative as you want and make him any colour you like. In fact, if I look in the catalogue, I can't share it with you this very second but if i look in the catalog i think they've used is there any on the front no of course there isn't of course there is not but when i open it up some of them are brown some of them are yellow and some of them aren't colored at all they're just colored their accessories but i'm going i'm going for a bit of color this time all right now i'm deciding i'm thinking i'm going to make i'm going to make his um the top of his head here will be the same color as what we've made the bottom and then i'm going to give his make his face a different color so, so i'm going to blend that in and when i'm blending with the light color i just sort of circle over the dark color and i've got a bigger area here so i'm going to come back to my my brush end And as it peters out and there's less space, then I'm going to switch back to my smaller, my smaller end. <laughs> Everyone's gone very quiet. You know what? That's actually absolutely fine because I go quiet when I color or when I cut. Both those things make my classes go quiet as well. It's, you can hear a pin drop when people are doing those things. All right, so now we get to decide what color we would like him to be. And I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards, I mean, this this one here, I gave him a blue face. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it'd be cute. This one, I think I'll give him blue eyes. Hmm, maybe a yellow face. What do you guys think? I have soft saff, uh, so saffron, which is a good light yellow. I haven't even, this is a brand new pack actually. I just got them because my my old so saffron blends um, took a bit of a bit of a beating and needed to be replaced. So I'm going to. So this is the dark one. I actually want most of it to be light. I might come in and do a bit of shading around the bottom with the with the darker one. So the thing I like about colouring is it's very therapeutic and if you're looking for something to enjoy while you know and you know be able to sort of chill out a little bit at the same time and not it's certainly not it's great if you don't want stressful 
stressful crafting because crafting is not usually stressful but if you try I find certain items certain things I do in crafting to be more stress producing than others for example um, measuring measuring doesn't make me relax so if I want to relax I'll color <laughs> does anyone else find that there are certain things they prefer okay so now we have we have a little lemon sort of a face and I'm going to give him um, I'm going to give him um, light barmy blue eyes, I think. Well, I'm deciding. Do I want light? Yeah, I think I do. Just like that. Now, the only bad thing I can think of is that I don't have dyes for these. Do I do his tummy yellow again? Maybe I do. But what colour should his bow tie be? And also we've got his feet. And his feet should be either calypso coral or pumpkin pie maybe? What do other people think here? It is very relaxing. That's right. Hmm. No one's offering any thoughts on what colours he should be. Well, maybe. Let's... Let's turn to our paper and see what colours we're going to do with the paper. So I'm going, I've got another of options. We've got some stars here and a, um, I think it's crushed curry. Let me see the colour. Uh, um, mango Melody. There you go. It is Mango Melody. So it could it, that would be all right to have him on the starry background. The same colour as the paper, Maybe. We've also, he would also look good. You can see there's some stars again there. We like the stars. And then there's, you know, there's also dots. There's, I think I want, I mean, this is nice as well. I could, I could add in, for example, if I'm going to put fresh freezer in here, I could give him a fresh freezer bow. So that might be an option. And this is nice. How many nice options? Aren't they lovely? Bermuda Bay tie. Ooh, you could do that. Um, red tie says Solvega. Darkish blue bow tie. Okay. I think I want whatever colour I'm going to give him, I'm going to pull, try and pull in the paper of the same one. See, I mean, and the stripes are nice too. The stripes are good. So the Mango Melody is a definite possibility because that looks really good. But, you know, if I was to bring in some fresh freesia here, I could give him a fresh freesia tie. Mango Melody and Blue. If I did Bermuda Bay, um, and that's Katrina's suggestion, um, then then I would probably probably work with this paper because that might be really nice. Where is he? Here he is. See, that looks that's pretty. So many good options. I mean, really, that's like the hardest thing about this paper is trying to come up with you know what to do. It's just and then we've also got these colours. That's interesting. But there's no yellow at all in that. And the green. That's nice. <laughs> all right. So I've got to make a decision here. And I've been given some lovely options. Let me go back and see. So Nari was the first. You said darkish blue bow tie. So if I was going to bring in blue then I probably want to bring in one of these bluey tones here. So, because that will work with his eyes. And I could do, like, I could even do a navy. Oh, I like the dots. Here we go. Let's try this. I think that's rather nice. I have got navy, but I think if I was going to do navy, I'd do a light navy. So this is light night of navy, so it wouldn't be too dark. So let's try this. So I'm going to just colour in the tie. See, I love when I create on a Friday or a Sunday night and get to ask you guys what you think because I end up with something that 
I didn't expect either. And it ends up going in a totally different direction. All right, so now he has a tie. All right, and I'm going to I'm going to grab my trimmer and I'm going to measure my paper. I'm going to bring it down to 14.3, which is card front size, by 10 centimetres. So that's four inches for those of you who are in the US by probably, oh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, maybe, would it be five and a quarter? Someone will know. Someone will know. Right, so then I want to use... I'm thinking, let's just make it a really um, a simple background. And I'm just going to colour it with these. I'm going to make these, I could do three centimetre or one inch strips. Let's make them one inch strips. So three, uh, two and a half centimetres is one inch. And one inch again. Oh, I just dropped my drink. That's not good. That went everywhere all over the floor, but oh well. Thankfully, it's not a coffee or anything. It's the same color as the carpet. All right, so I'm just going to position these kind of behind him. I could put them straight or I could sort of put them on an angle. If I'm going to put them in the angle on an angle, I would sort of have them sort of overlapping each other and that would look okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut him out. Now this is going to take a little bit longer because like I said, oh, we can we do, let me quickly, I'm going to use pale papaya and I'm going to give him little orange feet. There he is. That's better. Oh, hey, Ellen. Nice to see you. You're playing with the same set. There you go. Great minds think alike. Or as my mum used to say when she was around, she used to say, fools never differ. But, you know, most people don't like that one as much. Do great trains run on the same track? And she would always pipe up and say, fools never differ. <laughs> so I am going to... The other thing, remember I said colouring makes me go quiet? The other thing that makes me go quiet... Is cutting so I could just cut around this to save time you could just cut this out with say a circle or a square or any shape you like really die run it through your die cutting machine and just cut it out but of course I'm fussy cutting because um, you know I like to be I like to do things the hard way that's what I do and I'm still going to come back and I'm going to do because this is what I did for this one and I really like this look I've actually cut him out and then I put him on a circle, okay, which I think looks nice. So that's what we're doing. You know how I said before we're just going to do a really simple card? It's kind of turning out not to be as simple as I expected. And that's just that's just me. So we're just doing going the extra mile and doing a bit of a fussy cut. Because I think I've told you guys before, I actually quite like fussy cutting. I enjoy it. Um, in fact, if I have a lot of fussy cutting to do, like if I was working on a swap or something like that and there was a lot of fussy cutting, I would set up in front of the TV, put on a, put on a movie or a series and sit there and cut while I watch. There we go. Nearly done. All righty. So we could just put this on here, but it kind of he kind of gets lost, don't you agree? So instead, I'm going to grab my stylish shapes dies because they are my absolute favorite ever in the whole wide world dies. 
Ooh, maybe I'll try something different. Maybe I will. Let's try something new. These are the something fancy dies. So let's use these because they're really, really cute. And we've got some really fun shapes in here. Okay, so this guy would work really well. So let's run this through my machine. I think that's what I'm going to do. And the closest machine I have is my big one. That'll just do for now. <laughs> And I'm going to grab my top plate. Um, the other thing you could do, or maybe I will, is do it in vellum because, because vellum is the best thing ever, ever, ever. I know we've got other vellum fans here. I know, Ellen, you're a, ve you're a vellum fan. And vellum is just that extra step up in my opinion. I love vellum. So now I have a piece here and you can't see it because I'm, let me grab a, grab a mat so you can see it better. There you go. Grab a mat just there. And what I'm going to do, my owl is going to end up on here like this. I'm just going to keep eating this up. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a blending brush and I'm going to put a bit of colour underneath him because I always like that. Anybody else like that look? I just think it always adds to it. It looks so good. And I'm going to use my Balmy Blue, seeing as that's my base colour. Bellin says Cheryl, yes. A saying in white embossing would be lovely, but if I do that, I'm definitely only making one card, not two, <laughs> because it takes a while to get that happening. Makes it a longer card. I mean, like already I've done fussy cutting and things that I didn't intend to do, but, you know, that's just how it goes. You think of an idea and you think, okay, this is what I need to do to achieve this particular card that I really, I really like. All right, so... So you can see now how this looks with that bit of colour underneath it. So it just looks really pretty. And I'm going to pop him on here with a couple of dimensionals. Not black dimensionals. Okay. If you were my dimensionals, where would you hide? Would you hide the drawer where you should be or would you totally take off and be somewhere else aha found them okay you know what i don't have the carrots yet cindy i'm gonna get them <laughs> um just because i think they're really cute and i don't know why there's something about them i just think it looks it's fun but um, but I, I, I can understand they might not be for everyone, whereas I think owls are kind of almost for everyone. Everyone likes owls, right? But, yeah, carrots are different, that's for sure. So did we ever decide? No, I didn't get the new vellum yet, Kelly. That's on my list. That's on my list. Um, did we ever decide whether we we're going to have these straight or skewy? I don't think we decided. In the drawer? No. <laughs> uh, next to the popcorn. That would have been a good idea. I didn't get myself any popcorn tonight. Ah, oh, Louise, my phone is on. Do not disturb. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. Jean answered my question before. That four inches by five and a quarter is a standard mat for Imperial cards. So there we go. All right. Straight, says Katrina. Straight, says Megan. Skew Ify, says Nairi. And Cockeyed, says Joan. So some, but you know what? I have to go with the first ones. And Katrina was first. So she said straight. So straight it is. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these straight down. 
you know what the stripy side would be nice too but I'm going to bring them in a little bit from the edges and put them around about the same height as each other and I'm going to go another one over here now this just realized that's actually a little bit too far that's the good thing about Tombow because it's a liquid glue if you don't have it in the right place you have a little bit of wiggle room you can actually move it before it dries so if you decide it's not in the right place that's great it's not a problem all right so I'm going to put this one here my we had to go to Optus today because my daughter had an unfortunate event with her iPhone where she it did not she found out that iPhones do not swim and she's very sad tonight because she thinks she's probably lost all her photos on her old phone from the last couple of years and she's devastated and I know how she feels because I've had that happen to me and my husband had it happen to him when his phone got stolen a year or so ago so yeah we know how it feels it's not very nice all right so this is how this is looking currently kind of cute right I don't know I think I might have still preferred this preferred a circle but that's okay I'm going to pop a couple more dimensionals under here just to lift it and create a little bit of shadow around the edges and I'm going to move it up a little higher because we'll put our sentiment down the bottom here and I'm just thinking do I already have a sentiment I might have oh look I do ha 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 I have I already have a banner so let's go with that and we've got a few little sayings in this set we've got my friend it's your day who to you're so cute this one says it's your day We're, what should we have on this card should we use the same one or should we use a different one what do we think my friend is kind of nice what do you think guys oh yes you could i don't have the taco set yet either <laughs> I have this is the problem there are so many cool things in this new mini you just can't get it all at once right you just can't it's too hard yes I know I know I should you should always back up your photos on computer I know this doesn't mean I always do it You don't get vegetable sets. You're not vegetables are not your thing, Kelly. In you know, or just you mean when it comes to stamping? <laughs> All right. Yes. You know what? You could put Google eyes, googly eyes on the carrots, couldn't you? Couldn't you do that? I mean, I know that's silly, but you could do it. All right. Now we used for the bow tie. We used knight of navy so i'm going to use knight of navy for my words here um and i don't think anyone told me which i'll oh, just stamping okay um no one told me which which sentiment to use so i'm going to go with my friend because that's the one i've got here and i'm just going to test it here to make sure it's straight oh and it really isn't so i'm going to lift that end a tiny bit and that's that's not too bad all right so let's whack a couple of dimensionals behind this as well one and two and let's pop that one here should we put it on the in the middle if i put it in the middle i'm planning on putting a a ribbon to one side but I could do this and, and you know what, I might do this. Let's try it over here on this side. And if anyone thinks that that doesn't look quite right, you know, it's still a tiny bit crooked. I'm going to have to later when when you guys are all gone, I'm going to have to um, fix that because I cannot, st one thing I cannot abide is crooked. Unless it's intentionally crooked. If it's intentionally crooked, that's okay. But if it's um, an accident and it looks like it, it was an accident i don't like it <laughs> so i'm also one of those people i cannot stand crooked pictures on the walls i've got to fix them i don't like people's tags hanging out the back of their clothes i'm a bit i'm a little bit um ocd is that right <laughs> but um it's only certain things that bug me all right so i've had just a bit of a tie of this beautiful 
organza ribbon I'm thinking because this is on this side I'm going to put this over here let me bring these loops out a little bit I know well that's if if you do see we don't actually do iCloud which I don't know my husband doesn't trust iCloud he feels that it's not right to give all your personal data to something like that but then again you know the on the other side of things you can lose your personal data so I don't know but anyway everyone's got a different thought on that right I'm going to pop a glue dot on the back of this ribbon and I'm going to pop it right here so it's to one side And I'm thinking that's kind of cute, like that. And then I'm going to just grab my Barmy. Oh, that's Night of Navy. Let me grab my Barmy Blue. I'm just going to run my blend around the edge of this just because I'm being, this is an alternative to sponging around the edges. You can just grab your blend and zip around the edge just to darken up that edge a tiny bit. looks a little better and then it's going to go on to a basic white thick card base I feel like I need a tiny tiny little bit more I didn't quite get that in the right place so let me push it down properly that's better and I think maybe it needs it needs some bling where's Jody tonight did I see her I think I've missed a few people tonight Uh, let's have a look what have we got in our bling I've got I've got these these are new and let's let's play with these these are stunning I'm going to have to get some more I've already resigned myself to the fact that I'm going to need a, a number of packs these are the iridescent pastel jewel uh, gems absolutely gorgeous love 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 them and this one's these ones have got like a blue and purple kind of a tone to them they are stunning and I'm going to do a little one and I'm going to pop that right up there above his head. There we go. Aren't they nice? Can you see them? Look, I'll get them close. Oh, there's a dimensional backing stuck to the back of it. I don't know if you can see them. They're really, really pretty pastel gems. So you've got Calypso Coral and I think these are Barmy Blue and oh, maybe Petal Pink. I'm not sure. It does say in the book. I will have to look that up. But um, these these just look beautiful. They might even be, I don't know if they're supposed to be soft succulent or barmy blue, but they go with this anyway. I don't really care which one they are because they look really good. So there we go. You love it? All right. I'm just going to grab, um, I'm just going to grab some, a basic white thick card base. Which you can never have enough of, right? <laughs> You know, it's, I think I may have mentioned this before, but what's really, really great, when I do one or even two cards in a live like this, it means I have another card for a social media post. <laughs> so it gets me a little bit ahead on my creations. And quite often you'll see the day after I do a live that I post the card on Instagram or on my Facebook page. All right, so this now is going to go on here. It's looking really good very happy with it the owls are easy to use and if you like to color then you'll find them very very simple to use you can get away with not coloring them there's some samples in the in the celebration catalog that show them uncolored and that's that's nice too there we go what do we think how are we going for time have I got time or it's 8.30 so I might have to, I wonder if I have to call it quits does anyone have anything else that you really wanted to do quickly I'll tell you what I will show you one more really quickly I'm going to show you how I did this card All right um, this card is made with a new set called watercolor world really super cute set here it is 
this is the one um it's a set of one i love it when they give us a set of one and i really really like the stamp set just just because i think that it has a lot of potential you could do a lot with it right so um let's do this one super easy um and for this i'm going to use a piece of basic white just basic white okay and i probably will put the card together after but I just want to show you how I got the effect that I did on this card. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to cut my paper and it is just a piece of 10 centimeter wide. So this is a card front side again. So if you're in the US and you're using letter, it's four inches wide by five and a quarter. Have I got that right, Jane? I think I do. And then this is going to be 14.3 centimeters to fit an A4 card front. Now, I want to show you, when you are using, I'm using a Stamparatus, you don't have to. When I made this card, I didn't actually use the Stamparatus. I just coloured the whole thing with um, with sponge daubers and the chosen inks. Um, but using a Stamparatus is going to make this easier for you. And if you feel you want to add more colours in certain areas, you can. So the first thing is, because I'm using a rubber stamp, you don't need to use the foam mat that's included with the stamp writer. So you can get rid of that and just use the base plate. You can just use this as it is. However, if you would like to use the, um, the paper, the, the grid paper that comes with it, that's another nice idea as well because that saves you making a mess here. And that's this stuff. So I actually always keep a supply of this. I find it really handy and I just pop this into the bottom here. And then I've got, make sure that's going to stay in the corner, not that it matters too much. I have got a piece. Give me a second. Where is it? There it is. Here's my piece of paper. And I just want to make sure that this is actually, so if I was starting out from scratch, I would line this up, make sure this piece of paper is right in the corner. And I would line this up so that this is right on my piece of paper there. And it's right in the corner. And then I bring my plate over, pick it up, and away we go. That's ready to go. Okay, so when I stamp this again, as long as this is pushed into the corner each time, it's going to be in the same place every time. So if you don't have a Stamparatus, you don't have to have one of these. But I will tell you from so so many customers people keep telling me how much they love their stamparatus and it has so many uses i did have someone say to me recently oh i'm not going to get a stamparatus because i don't use a die cutting machine i'm like that's not its only use yes you can use it with dies absolutely but there are so many other ways to use it and this is a really great way so if you want to add multiple colors to something what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my colors the colors i've used in this are Polish Pink, Bermuda Bay, or was that Coastal Cabana? It might have been Coastal Cabana, but we'll see. Actually, I think it was Coastal Cabana. And I can always go up, if it's not dark enough, I can always go up to Bermuda Bay later. Um, actually, I'm wondering, this looks, this looks a little bit, I don't know that it is Polish Pink, but I think I'll use Polish Pink tonight. And then we have Pumpkin Pie. And we also have, uh, there's a bit of granny apple green in here as well. So they're the main colours that I've used, those four. But we can we can add a couple of other colours if we want to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting my colours straight onto here. So I've got some sponge daubers. Um, I've got some that have been used for colours before. I usually try and pick... Out of my sponge daubers, I try and pick ones that have been used for similar colours on a previous occasion. So if I find one that's been used for yellow, I'll use that one again. This one has hardly any colour on it, so I'm just going to go again for that one. This one's good for my Coastal Cabana one. And let me see. Um, hmm. I usually start with my lighter colours first, so let's just see how we go, um, whether or not I'm going to need all those. But I will start with, I think I'll start with the Coastal Cabana, and I'm going to use this little guy here. And I'm going to open up my mat, and what I'm going to do, 
move that out of the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the colours. It doesn't matter what colours you use, wear. It makes no difference. Um, I make sure I saturate my um, my sponge dauber and then just apply my colour. And what I try and do is I also try and overlap my colours a little bit. So say, for example, if I decide my next colour is going to be Granny Apple Green, maybe. All right, so let's grab some colour off that. All right, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go a little bit over what I've already done so those two colours kind of blend together. Has anyone done this with their Stamparatus before? So the number one thing that I think the Stamparatus is good for is applying colour or applying um, a stamp so that if you mess up, you can redo it and fix it without having to line that stamp up perfectly again because it's already it's already perfectly lined up all right I just think I think that that is a fantastic thing so let me try this one so this is my pumpkin pie and we're going to come down here and we're going to do Africa and Head up towards Europe here, Middle East. And we're overlapping on the other colours that we did a bit. So I've got Bermuda Bay green, I've got my pumpkin pie. I'm going to move into the polish pink now. You could use markers. Um, I liked the fact I liked the soft effect of um of a sponge dauber. I think it blends together better than the markers do oh you know what I'm doing um polish pink here but I do remember thinking when I was doing the original that Greenland up here should be green so do you guys know the funny story about how Greenland and Iceland got their names and apparently this is true um I according to my history obsessed daughter this is a true thing um that when they were they were first settled by the Vikings way back when. And um, here we go. I'm going to try and add that colour there. And then um, the, the Vikings looked around them. They got to Iceland and it is just stunningly beautiful. And they thought, wow, this place is awesome. We want this all to ourselves. How can we make it so that no one wants to come here? So they called it Iceland because that doesn't sound very attractive. And they thought that that would be a really good way to um, to get people to not want to come, right? And I get that. That kind of doesn't sound very good. But then Greenland, which was all icy and not so nice, apparently. I haven't been there, so I, I hope I'm not offending any people from Greenland because I really don't know what I'm talking about. Um the, um, they they instead of calling that which was the less nice place they called it Greenland because they thought that would make it sound more attractive so everyone would go to Greenland and stay away from Iceland because they wanted it for themselves so there you go <laughs> all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this over I'm going to make sure that's in the corner and I'm going to stamp it and I'm going to give it I'm going to stand up and give it a good old pressure what should happen is we should end up with a beautiful multicolored image. Now, can you see that it's very nice, but it's a little, it's a bit faded. I mean, you might like that. You might decide that's enough. The first thing you can do is you can bring it over again and we can, you know, hit it again, give it another push. If it's still too light for you, oh, and I managed to, I managed to, um, a little bit down around South America here I've managed to get a bit of a, a halo which is not very good so I need to be a bit careful when I'm adding my color there that I don't get that and you know what I think I got it on this one too and that's why I've got the explore banner over the top of the bottom of South America because I obviously did that on the first one and I should have learned from my lesson but did I know I did not all right so what I can do now is I can come back in in any areas that I think are a little bit 
a little bit um, faded and I can add more color. And this is the cool thing about a stamp artist. You can keep adding color as much as you want to. So where else would we like to have some color? I think I think that we should get some Bermuda Bay and go a little bit darker on Australia because, you know, Bermuda Bay is my favorite color. So I'm going to add a bit more color there up into Indonesia and all those places, New Zealand as well. Um, hmm. It's not bad. I don't mind it. So let's bring that over and do it again. And as long as it's right in the corner, it's going to work. See, and now we have Australia starting to stand out a little bit more. Can you kind of see how this works? And so, yeah, I'll be putting a little explore banner once again, straight up at the bottom here so I don't get that little halo because that's a bit naughty that I didn't pay attention to that. But you can see it's quite different this time. Really, really different. So, you know, you could do it. You could do different colours, whatever colours you think look good. Um, I might decide, you know, after the end of this video, I might decide I would I would like a lot more colours somewhere else, you know, or I'd like to... This this is the polish pink. Maybe I want it to be a little bit more sweet sorbet because that might be nice. Or I would like a bit more green here through Asia. I don't know. What do you think? So you can see I've done two different versions, but it's the same card. And it's very easy to do. No, you don't need to huff. You don't need to. <laughs> so many fun things to do. But I'm going to say goodbye tonight. I'll finish that card off a little later. I just wanted to show you how I got that effect and what I used. Um, you can just do it very simply by sponging over it um, you could also like the other girl said you could um, use markers and huff on it but it, I find it blends the most easily like from one country into another it blends most easily with the sponge dots all right let's bring you back or bring me back here I am okay how did we go tonight yep I do plan to go and enjoy some time with the family that's the plan <laughs> and um Yes, if you can hit the like button, that would be awesome. We love it when you do that, um, especially if you're on YouTube. That is really great for the YouTube algorithm and Facebook too. Um, but also, if anyone has any questions at all about the joining special, if you're interested in finding out more information about that, please sing out. Happy to send you any info that you would like or point you in the right direction or have an honest conversation about it and answer any questions that you might have I think it's going to be a really great deal and I'm excited uh, to share more of the opportunity with as many people as would like to know so here we go guys I plan on being I'm hoping I'm going to be here on Sunday night it is New Year's Day if I'm not here Sunday night I'll put up a little message um, and I'll be maybe live early in the week instead but at the moment the plan is to be here live all right. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I hope you get to spend it with people that you love and doing something fun. And I will see you in the new year. Happy end of the year and um, bring on 2023. Have a great year, guys. Have a great New Year's. Bye-bye.